sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross out your eyes. Right now, man, I'm, I'm really excited about uh, our next guest. Um, I've known him for a long time. We've actually made history together a few times as he came up on the Wake Up Show, which airs here Monday night, 8 p.m. on Shade 4-5, also re-airs Thursday at 9 at 12 midnight here on Shade 4-5. And I, I, I don't know if I ever thanked him for um, helping us shape and mold and, and set the tone for what uh, King Tech and our career has been, become. How so? Uh, well, it was important to us when we first started the Wake Up Show to um, do it with a certain a gumption of integrity mm -hmm. um, and set a certain bar of criteria for um, artists who came into the show. Okay. And in order to do that, we had to set examples by allowing certain artists who wouldn't normally necessarily get the exposure on that type of platform, right. uh, get that exposure on that type of platform. And um, our next guest was one of those artists as he was in the group Organized Confusion, but now he's a solo artist as well. Um, and I think it worked because when he blessed the mic on our show, although he blessed it on many other shows, many other artists would spawn from that inspiration. Yeah. Like the m and mm. You know, um, um, I'll just name M right now. Yeah. You know, because. <laughs> beginning and end. The beginning of M. M, like M. <laughs> and, um, and so it's been, a, it's been a treat, a joy to see him not only maintain and sustain a career at this um, over the years, but. I swear, it looks like this dude hasn't aged one day. I know, Heather I was what the hell is that. he doing? I was going to say that. Welcome to the show, Farrell Monch, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, welcome, welcome. Can you hear yourself? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. All right, cool. But y'all can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear we you. Good. But you can't hear you? No, nah, we good. Okay, good. Man, how you doing, Farrell? I'm great, man. It's a pleasure to be up here. Uh, heard you uh, shout M, man. It's a beautiful thing. He shouted me out on the song. And yeah. That's just dope, man. Big up to Eminem, man. Uh, it it got to be, um, well, you know, M to a Feral Monster is just, a, you know, a, a little guy that was coming up in the ranks and, and done well for himself, I'm sure, right? You know, but without disrespecting what he's accomplished. Right. Uh, but you've seen a lot of great MCs that probably um, don't get the recognition that uh, they deserve. Who, who are some of those MCs that you've been around that you've always felt like? I mean... Right now, it's just a long list of dope MCs, mm -hmm. but I think everybody's kind of doing their thing because it's kind of going back to that. So you look at the entire Slaughterhouse crew, and yeah. Elzai and mm. Gene Gray and mm. different artists that's still able to keep doing their thing mm -hmm. on a lyrical level and still obtain, you know, some support from their fans and keep their fan base. And keep the fan base, right? I remember, um, I'm curious about your... I always like dissecting um, uh, people's styles, you know, the writing styles, how they approach music. And it always takes a long time for your music to, uh, it feels like, to come, to come to the surface. Why is that? I mean, are you still writing one line every five months? <laughs> or, I mean, I mean, you know how. <laughs> nah, nah. This, this last project, uh, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, we actually knocked it out pretty quick. Mm -hmm. But um, the writing in terms of that, but waiting for the Black Thoughts and the Talebs and mm -hmm. the different artists and bartering music as you do when you're an independent artist as well as studio time. So it wasn't no, like, we cutting the check to block out the yeah. big studio for, for three weeks because it's not like that. I'm the owner of my label, so it's basically like, you know, it's contingent sometimes upon when people are available mm -hmm. to record with you or producers are available. So, you know, that takes up a lot of time as well. Mm-hmm. And then at first we were gonna make it an EP because the war record did really, really good. And then we recorded a couple of songs and my manager was just like, yo, this needs to be a full project. Okay, and that's why it's a full project. Yeah. So owning your own label, um, do sometimes you gotta make a choice between do I pay for this beat or do I pay for these groceries? Hmm. Um, Like I said, fortunately, be because of the, the cachet uh -huh. and the Rolodex, <laughs> uh -huh. You know, people extend me a lot, man, from from the, the upper echelon of producers uh -huh. to just people I find with dope beats, man. Right. And it's just, I'm blessed for that. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. And I understand, you know, my position. So I look back at some of the artists that I've worked with, Jill Scott's. And mm -hmm. Let's just take her, for example. Yeah. 
uh we sent her the music she was on tour with maxwell she called me up with tears in her eyes on the phone like i want to be on this song wow you know and i'm like we're going to work it out she was like don't worry about that you know i got you we shot the video she was like i want to be in the video uh -huh. you know what i mean uh -huh. That's like what song very was that? dear to my heart. It's a song called Still Standing uh -huh. on the War album that I did with Jill Scott, mm -hmm. and, and it did really well. Yeah. yeah. Wow, man. You, I bet you got a ton of stories. Like when y'all went in the studio to do the the song The Truth, that collaboration, mm -hmm. it was you, it was Common, right? And, and Kwali, Talib Ta Ta Kwali. Mm -hmm. Were y'all in the studio at that time? Yeah, together? we were all in the studio together. Um. One of, one of the things that blew me away about that session, the story I tell is that, you know, I had my verse written so they could hear where it was going and what the song was about. Yeah. And uh, Common and Talib just came in and blazed their verses. And they're very, very intricate and eloquently written verses. And I pulled Kam aside like, yo, how do you do that? Like, I, I resist that. I want to be at home in my space writing. And... He was just telling me so many people, so many artists were asking him to jump on songs. He had to, like, turn that over. Wow. And it became habit for me. So so you write at home? Yeah, I mean, I Primarily. write in the studio now from feeling, 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 feeling it. If you're really feeling it. Yeah. All right, um, Heather, man, you got any questions for Pharaoh while you have them? I was just wondering, how do you still stay inspired in all of this? Um, I just think as an MC, which I consider you to be, and just watching it, all changed so much and then deciding I'm independent I'm gonna do what I want there's still a bunch of BS you have to deal with whether exactly. you talk about it or not it's a, how do you continuously stay inspired I love the process of, of creating music and I love the process of the MC mm. I still am trying to learn still trying to grow as an MC and an artist so to speak and I just love uh, pushing myself creatively so I still have managed to stay away from the bullshit that is the music industry politics. So I kind of let my manager handle that part yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. and try to stay focused on being creative. And I think it's always a genuine and authentic product. And I think people still respect that on a boutique level. You know, we're not selling millions of records, but the fan base stays loyal because when you hear it, it still remains authentic. Yeah, you got to love that. Feral March, ladies and gentlemen. And, 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 and the other thing is, um, you know, we talk about this all the time, where we were coming up, Mystique um, was the, the mystery yeah. that, and, the, and the allure and the appeal that yeah. the general pu the public liked to not know everything about you. So when they figured out one or two little things, that put them in the know and that separated them from your just run-of-the-mill fan. Now it's the other way around. Transparency is the new mystery. But yet and still, you still kind of stay obscure in your own way, right? <laughs> you doing that on purpose or? I mean, musically, yes, but, you know, my Twitter followers know I'm a big sports fan, football fan, basketball, mm -hmm. baseball fan. My tw Twitter followers know I'm silly. Mm -hmm. They know I like porn. They know the crazy shit about you, me. You like so part par me? It, it really, it <laughs> really. Porn. Did you say porn? It, yeah, P-O-R-N. I mean, I mean yeah. the obscure things that you wouldn't normally know yeah. is put out there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it put me in touch with the fan in a way that I wasn't able to get in touch with them. <laughs> what just happened right now? Well, he can't get over the porn yeah. part. <laughs> he wasn't expecting that. <laughs> quiet ones, yo. Feral Munch likes porn? Porn! You Tune mean? up! <laughs> what kind of porn? Oh. I mean, if, if you if you went on my laptop right now, uh -huh. it would immediately load up instantly. <laughs> Pornhub. Yeah! Porn. Hub. Okay, that's a hub. They got a she hub. Knows. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. It's mobile yeah. friendly too. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> we not, we went from mean. doing the anthem together okay, to this. Okay, okay, let's get all porn right. Post traumatic stress disorder. Okay, yes. there you go. All right. <laughs> we were trying to figure out what the acronym stood for PTSD. Was it post traumatic stress disorder or, or was it porn? No, pussy. Oh, pussy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Wait, wait, pussy Sex and, and drugs. And drugs. But Tracy said dick instead of drugs. Yeah, yeah it could have been. I don't know. It could have been. Hey, uh, <laughs> I want to open up the phone lines for Feral Munch, 888-742-3345. Man, is it possible we could get you to do something live from the album for us? Yes, sir, man. I would love to do that. We got a new joint. I want to do it live. Okay. And what's live. it? which one? Damage? We going to do damage or 
bad nah, MF. Nah, we're gonna skip damage. Uh huh. We're gonna do uh, bad MF. Yeah, you can say it if you want. It's just called MF. It's called MF. But okay. Bad motherfucker. There it is. Carol <laughs> Munch, Sway in the Morning, 888 742 3345. Let's go. Let's motivate. Let's rock. Figured since we came out rocking with Sway. That's right. Take it back to the old. Ooh. From the old to the new. Uh, you know uh, what I mean? This is like 91. Yep. Boogie Sweat. Blonde on the ones and twos. Ah. Yeah, yeah. J45, Sway in the morning. We taking them back. Yeah, yeah. Months. Post-traumatic stress disorder, April 15th. Live and concert series. Ah. Yo. Ah. Yo. Wake up to the mathematics of an erratic rap rejuvenator of rhyme. Sort of commodomatic, poetical, medical medicine for the cerebellum. I divert them and flirt them and assert them and I repel them a breakdown. Poetical shakedown. 52 pick up a stick up, so get on the floor face down. The ammo to keep the people stepping, breaking open the vault. Cause I'm like a verbal assault weapon, a mathematical act. Probatical, attack the whack, take rap to the maximum. Strung out your hunger when you heard the style out of rung out of thin and come out my mouth when I stick my tongue out in the atmosphere. Take a good look at what's happening here. On the microphone, I'm rapping. Pick them, stick them up, bring them, shake them up and bashing them. Living dictator, the aviator, answering them. Beware to prepare for the guillotine. Rhymes go express, expert, extreme. Be up to par with wisdom and intellect. Detaching one's head directly from one's neck. Still, I've been illin' and drilling your brain like a villain. I came in the darkness and sparked a little bit short for sure. But we rhyme for the prisoners of war one two. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Wow. wow. From the old to the new. Feral Munch. Spad, motherfucker. 888-742-3345. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Totally intoxicated when he drove across the state line. Rapper gone insane, story on Dateline. He lost his wits, didn't take his meds. When they pulled him over, this is what he said. I'm a bad motherfucker, man. Shut show mouth. So we're talking about Pharaoh. One more game, one more game. All right, so much. One more game. We live in concert. Bad motherfucker, PTSD. One of a kind. Crazy G. Woo! Yeah. Check it out. Totally intoxicated when he drove across the state line. Rapper gone insane. Story on Dateline. He lost his wits. Didn't take his meds. When they pulled him over, this is what he I'm said. Bad man. Show now. So we're talking about M- 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 mash it in that Aston Martin on the Verrazano Narrows. Greatest of all time and the latest apparel. 80s baby ladies train me on some Mercedes shit. Go tell your favorite rapper, eat a bag of baby dicks. They can sing in the same old song. I'ma bring them the pain for singing the name wrong. Got me going and saying I'm an actual gay. Who put these pussies on top? Who? Putting out that pussy music. Call it pussy pop. Playing pussy games. Suck the shit, fucking around, but they don't know just who they fucking with. I'm a bad motherfucker, man. Yeah. Universal. Universal, worldwide, you know my circle. Renegade, on a mic, I might just murk you. Put it in, in that work, cause I be working, be versus, versus the virtue. Universal, uh-huh. worldwide, uh-huh. you know my circle. Renegade, on a mic, I might just murk you. Put it in that work, cause I be working, be versus the the best liars told a lie inside a room full of liars. The lie was so exciting that all the liars admired. When the truth walked in the building, every liar retired. Deception was defeated and deceit became deleted. Uh, they mad cause they can't stop me. Cause I said fuck swag, I got moxie. Lyrically ecstasy, I got that oxy. Cotton popping, they can't carbon copy, you mock me. Rain, independent off the books. Off the chain, off the hinge, off the hook. It's not a game, I'm not a rook. Y'all know the name, you love the look. Listen, who put these pussies on top? Putting out that pussy music, call it pussy pop. Playing them pussy games, sucker shit. 
fucking around, but they don't know just who they fucking with. I'm a bad motherfucker, man. Yeah, you universal, know. worldwide. You know my circle. Renegade, on a mic, I might just smirk you. Put it in that throat, cause I can work if he versus the virtue. I'm a bad motherfucker, man. Oh, you know universal, worldwide. You know my circle. Renegade, on a mic, I might just smirk you. Put it in that throat, cause I can work if he versus the virtue. Wow, whoa, wow, Pharrell Mancha has joined us, one of the most respected MCs in the game today. No doubt. Um, PTSD is the name of the album, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, out April 15th. Right. Um, some of the people featured on the album are Black Thought, Talib Kweli, right? The Steph Kids. Yes, sir. Uh, Vernon Reed. Yes, sir. Um, how do you choose, how do you select who gets to be on your album? I mean, it's all art driven, so mm -hmm. I'm just like, if this person fits in the the scene or the film or the as the director, you cast. So yeah. you're just not having people jump on and do verses and stuff. I, you know, certain MC style and artist style fit with certain records, so you make those choices. That's how you write your songs too, similar yeah, to exactly. how a screenwriter writes a play, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and so so lyrics and verses <clears throat> have to audition to be on the song. Mm. Exactly, and some of them make the cutting room floor, and that's why it takes so long sometimes. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. good. He brought that back around because yeah. people ask him that all the yeah. time. Sure. <clears throat> do you have a verse? You ain't got to rap it, but do you? Can you recall a dope verse that made the cutting room floor that never saw the light of day? Um, or a dope lyric, maybe four you bars. You usually use them for something. Okay. You know, but even now. Um, I'm trying to cast them and audition them on different songs. Because <laughs> I would imagine verses written by him that doesn't make the cut. Right. Are people's hits. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the, some of their best work ever. Right. You know, do you ever use other writers, like ghost writers, for any of your, your, your music? In nah, terms of lyrics? On the, on, the, on the War album, Gene wrote the chorus for a song called Grand Illusion. Uh huh. Yeah. How do you feel about that, one way or the other? I mean, when I'm working with uh, the likes of a Jean Grey, yeah. I'm like, I couldn't figure it out. So uh -huh. It was good. She could figure yeah. it out. I, I don't think choruses are the same, though, as like right, lyrics. That's not, lyrics. to me, that's not the <clears throat> same as like having a ghostwriter. Like, yo, my man, I need 16 by Cars. tomorrow. <laughs> you know, that's not the same as collaborating, as he said, with someone in a studio. And they's like, yo, this will be the perfect hook. That's that to me. There's a fine line between that. So I see what you're saying. Yeah. How that works, Tracy. Go ahead. I know you've been dying to talk with him since he yeah. said he likes porn. <laughs> Shush. Well, no. Now I'm really dying to talk to you from your song "Bad MF" because there was so much shit talking in there, but it was done so intricately. And I know you said something about how the new rappers should eat a bag of baby dicks. <laughs> then there's something about how the truth is gonna come in to room for the liars. All the liars are gonna retire. And then that word "retire" stuck in my head because now I'm thinking about with um, all the different generations of rap that you've seen and you've helped foster, what are some trends from today in rap music that you think needs to be retired? Um, I, Yo, man, I really, really don't, like, pay close attention to flows and <laughs> the styles and stuff that people are doing and the music. I know I hate those fucking synthetic, synthonic trap drums. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... I'm waiting for that shit to die out. How you feel about the fashion <laughs> though, too? Um, I mean, I, again, man, like, I don't, I don't really stress that too much because I came up when Run DMC had mad tight leads on. So, <laughs> yeah, that's wherever true. that's going is is going, and it'll come back around again and go to something different. So, right. it right. is what it is. It is what it is. And all you gotta do, really, if you haven't paid attention to anybody's flows as of late. Just listen to Drake's flow, and then the next 20 rappers you hear, exactly, it'll be the same thing. Exactly. All right. We got, uh, is it, is it Merck? I, I, e Merck the Jerk. E Merck the Jerk from Colorado. Say what up to Farrell Munch. What up, Farrell? What up, sir? What's good? <laughs> hey, hey, I just want to say, <clears throat> man, I don't like shit nowadays. Like, I, I'm, I'm pissed off that our music is where it's at, <laughs> you know? And I don't want to say it's impossible to make, like, super dope shit that we used to get in the industry, right. but you're doing a pretty damn good job. And it's just a nice, that's a nice change to hear some real shit out. Because there ain't barely any real you, shit man. coming out. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. You know what? And then, Phil, you got a, uh, uh, 
a bunch of albums that you uh, um, put out solo. And, and for those who just, you know, getting tuned into who Pharrell Monch is, go pick up his albums. Pick up his past works. You got Internal Affairs. Bears. Yep. The Desire album. Mm -hmm. War. My first independent album was the War album. Mm -hmm. And now this is uh, Post Traumatic Stress post Disorder. Yeah. Do I mean it's and that dates back to like two what two thousand or uh, nineteen ninety nine when uh, internal I was affairs. on Raucous we yeah. dropped Eternal Affairs mm -hmm. most dropped uh, Black on both sides like the <laughs> same month mm. so that was like the push. Yeah. Can you imagine like all these people on Raucous like most you know Pharaoh all these Crazy. different people coming through man what was that energy like back then that's like I remember when I saw Crush Groove. You know, with uh, and it talked with Run DMC and LL and all mm -hmm. them, and this shit got me so excited that man, I was like, I gotta do this. You know, what yeah. was y'all energy like back then? Same thing, man. Just being around from the even from the beginning, OC, yeah, and Prince Poe, you know, just ciphering up and trading bars. You're mm -hmm. like, I gotta go back and write something else. <laughs> yeah. Same <laughs> thing when um, Raucous, you know, you you get a building full full of just incredible artists. Mm -hmm. It inspires you to step up to the next level and we all sharing music and in the studio and stuff so it was amazing did you see it becoming because rock is to me still you know uh man rock is was just a pure i don't know what the business was behind yeah. it who was getting raped yeah. right uh, you know i don't know any of that just from a viewer from a fan's business perspective business was so fucked up was it okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. it's terrible okay all right but uh great eyes for talent you yeah. know what i'm saying like <clears throat> I seen um, Talib and Most back when they were rocking in the bookstore in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and I knew what it was because of the attention paid to detail and trading routines and flows. So you knew what it was back then when you, from the beginning stages. So was, uh, but to Prince Paul, you organized confusion was before, uh, before yeah, yeah. Black Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way before Black Star. Well, so were they, did y'all know, did they know you guys back well, then? When I when I left the group, I got up with Talib because mm -hmm. I liked what they was doing and I wanted to see what independent labels they were messing with. Talib put me under the wing and told me, yo, you should mess with these raucous cats. And then at the same time, Talib was like, I listened to Organized Fusion in high school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So, okay, so that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. See, people are inspired. Some of the best MCs yeah. are inspired by the best MCs. Yeah. Man, one of the um, songs, you've done a bunch of hits that uh, resonated well with the underground, and then there was a, a, a couple of hits that actually um, made you mainstream, you know. And um, But the beauty of it all is even when you did our song, the anthem, Sway and Tech, back in 1999. That's right, Sway. Uh, this or that album <laughs> featuring RZA, uh, KRS-One, Cool G Rap, Chino Excel, J.O. Felony, Tech 9 um, Eminem. Uh, Eminem. and G-Rap. Uh, G-Rap and, 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 of course, Feral Monch. You got that beat? The, the anthem? You got the song? Uh, Farrell goes about fourth, right? What, what, what number? <laughs> fourth, 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 fourth. He, he remembers that verse. That was a big video for him. You're a uh, wild boy, Sway. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, man, listen. Yeah, man. We 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 went to Farrell, <laughs> and, and and Tech was like, "Yo, Sway, we can't even release this video unless Farrell is in it." Right. And we had these ideas for each and every artist to give them their own universe, their own world, how we saw them. Right. And we wanted Farrell. Farrell was dressed up like a monk. And um and we elevate his his lyrics illuminated the room so much so that he elevated because he was a miracle to rap. Mm. Ooh shit! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yo, That's but good. the story, the the true story is they they really hoisted me in the air in that video. It wasn't like graphics, so I had the grappling shit on my crotch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got 20 feet up. I was like, yo, man, this is starting to hurt. Porn. Yeah, let me down. Porn. He's Porn. Like, Damn near busted on us. We got to Don't stand under Pharaoh. <laughs> Porn. <laughs> he, he liked that pain. <laughs> wow, man. But the one that really cemented your name as, uh, uh, well, not nah, actually, it was already cemented. It wasn't. It didn't even matter. Right. Uh, but the one that made, made the masses aware of how, uh, how talented this man is was this song called Simon Says. If you heard it, go ahead and put your hands in the air. Pharrell, can you do that live for us? Let's go. Sway in the morning, Shay 4-5. Yeah, you yeah, 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 right yeah. Here. Woo! 
We got Queens all massive Prince Po. You know how we do. We slam Let's dancing. Go. Mosh pit. Slaying them all. Shade of the five. It's one of the elite MCs. Grip yourself. Get the fuck up. Simon says, get the fuck up. Throw your hands in the sky. Brooklyn in the back, shoot crap, y'all. What's up? Yeah. Girls, rub on your titties. Yeah. Fuck it, I said it. Rub on your New York City gritty committee. Pity the fool that act shitty in the midst of the calm, the witty. Ah. Y'all know the name. Pharaoh fucking March ain't a damn thing changed. You all up in your range, shit. Inebriated, straight from your original plan. You deviated, I alleviated the pain with long term goals. Flip the underground loop without the gold. You so flattened around the world, I so wood in the hood. But when I'm in the street and shit, it's all good. Soon the motivator, boom, control the game like tune made of rock. Pop dollars, clip tips like a way to block shot styles greater. My lyrics anoint. Y'all holding up the wall, but you're missing the point. Get the fuck up. What, 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 what? Simon says, get the fuck up. Okay. Throw your hands in the sky. Bo, 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 bo. Now Brooklyn in the back, sip yak, yo, what's up? Yeah. Girls, rub on your titties. Yeah. Fuck it, I said it, rub on your titties. New York City, gritty committee, pity the fool that act shitty in the midst of the calm, the witty. Ah. Uh. Notorious for the six fives in the BMs. Heads give you beef, you put them in the mausoleum and shit. Don't start pumping till after 12 p.m. Ignorant minds are free em. You tired of the same on every day you will agree em. The most obligated, hard, all rated. Slated to be the best, I must confess the star made it. Yeah. Some might even say the song is sexist. It's cause I ask the girls to rub on they breasts. Whether you're riding a train or a Lexus. This is for either all rollies or time exes. It's wicked like exes. This is the joint. You're holding up the wall, but you're missing, missing the, the point. point. Get the fuck up. up. Shabbat says, get the, yo, throw your hands in the Let's sky. Go, 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 go. Brooklyn in the back, shoot crap, y'all, what's up? Yeah. Girls, rub on your titties. Yeah. Fuck it, I said it, rub on your New York City gritty committee. Pity the fool that act shitty in the midst of the calm, the witty. Get the yeah, fuck up. Barrel March is here. We're going to take your call. 888-742-3345. Let's take them back yeah. to the other side of town. Yeah. Woo. Wow, Feral Monch is here, man. We also a big celebration is in uh, is is um twenty twenty. The big celebration is due uh twentieth anniversary. Twentieth anniversary of the Stress album, Stress the Extinction Agenda. Me and Prince Poe. I mean, uh, uh, the song Crush Kill Destroy Destroy Stress. We shot out in the Bay and the mountains. Yeah, in the Bay Area. Uh, R.I.P. Michael Lacero. Wow. And uh, just a lot of memories, good memories. Uh, R.I.P. Matt Du, who painted the album cover. And uh, that, that album was very monumental for us in hip hop. And I, I think it kind of cemented and took us to the respect that we needed as lyricists and, yeah. and music we was putting out in that golden era. Mm -hmm. uh, 94, so many incredible albums came out in 94 from mm -hmm. Illmatic to There Is A Dark Side, Fuji's. Outcast. It's like Outcast. Yeah. It's 20 it's amazing albums that dropped that year, and it's just crazy to be a part of that whole history. Wow, man. Yeah, man, you, you definitely earned it, man. It don't even seem like 20 years, man. Right. Who was that, five? All right, Lamont is on the line from the Bay Area. Good morning, Lamont. Good morning. How you guys doing? Doing all right, man. Say hello to Feral Mosh. Hey, Feral Mosh, man. Salute, man. Salute, man. Salute. I was done with rap for a minute. I was on R&B until that album came out. Wow. Oh, thank you, man. Man, so you remember man, that album? Hey, man. Oh, man, man. I put that album in my treadmill, man. It burned clean. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Real good. Hey, L, you're a, you a citizen. A sway in the morning. All right, we got, uh, we're going to take them to uh, Arizona. We got uh, David on the line. David, good morning. Say what's hey, up David, to Feral Hey, David, good Munch. morning. Hey, what's up, guys? This is my first time calling you guys. Ah, all right, you're a citizen. A sway in the morning, yeah. David. Salute. Yeah. yeah, it's my birthday, too. That's a weird thing. Damn, you get to talk to Feral Munch <laughs> on your birthday. Yeah, hey, fellow man. I Happy mean, uh, birthday, yo. Yeah, thanks a lot, bro. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. I just want to give you a shout out. You know, I've been a, a fan since, yeah, I believe you were on DJ Revolution or DJ Rectangle back in 99. Yep, amazing. yep. That was this or that, Sway Tech and DJ Revolution. Talk about <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. I, re I remember when, that, but where when, I live, I live, yeah, I live on the outskirts of, of the, the valley, like in the, in the 
in the rural area. So I didn't really get a lot of hip hop. So I, my source of hip hop was Double XL and the Source. And then there's a couple of articles I write about you. But when uh, when my cousin came out with that DJ Revolution mix, I forget which one it was. The two cats that came out uh, that blew my mind was you and Bumpy Knuckles. Freddie Fox. Were the, yeah, those were the two sickest. I mean, dope, dope. I, I, I was in the era of uh, the Jay Z, the Biggie, the Pac, but. To me, you kind of took it to another level. That was cool, you know. It was a level that I could feel. So I just want to give you a shout-out. I've been a fan since 99. Thank you, man. Yeah, keep doing good things, bro. So. Thank you, man. We appreciate you. Hey, hey, David, hold up, man. Let me uh, give, give, give her the headphones real quick. Let me show you how hip-hop we keep it, man. You said the two standout artists on that album were Feral Munch and Bumpy Knuckles, a.k.a. Freddie Fox. Man, I got his daughter, Jonna, right here. Say, say, you can't talk to him, but say hi to his daughter. Go ahead. Yeah, I've been a, I've been a fan of your dad since since that time, man. It's, it's a, I mean, music hasn't been like that since then. Hip hop hasn't been like that since then. So, you know, That's I love that mean. album. I love your dad's work. Thank um, you. you know, thanks for thanks for all the support to everybody. Uh, hip hop, hip hop. I miss hip hop the way it used to be. You know. Well, you get it right here, China. What you guys? What, is, is how to make you feel? Here, somebody talk about your dad's work. That's all because he's still working. He yeah. does it for people like him. So yeah. he still he stays in the studio. That, that doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, all right, John. Go back to work. <laughs> all right. All right. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pharaoh, man. Um, you brought some people with you. Once again, introduce the DJ. A DJ is DJ Boogie Blind, world famous executioner, world class man. He's doing it. Legendary. Right Legend. Legendary. I just see him floating around the hood sometimes, just aimlessly running into walls. <laughs> just just practicing pantomiming DJing. You know? Right, right, right. He's sort of dedicated. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, oh, you got a movie star right there. Got a movie star in the back, my man Cameron, who's just like holding it down for us right now. Yeah. Can, can I say hi to Cam? Cam, come here, man. Come, come sit, sit, sit down, man. He looks like the Caucasian you, Sway. Huh, the Caucasian me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Caucasian me. <laughs> yeah, he, we just said he, he's rocking my old school hats. But Cam, he's been having the locks for a while. So, you know. Um, down to my ankles, man. Yeah, they down to your ankles now? Wow. Yeah, you know what I used to do with my locks when they, well. What happened, Sway? Yeah, I used, you used to, to tie, tie things up? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I that's what keep, I do. I tie things yeah, up. I keep women in captivity with my locks. Oh, Back gosh. in the day, I was tying up ankles. Yours down to your ankles. Yeah. Um. This dude has such a wonderful history, mm -hmm. you know, from movies like House Party and, and, and the project, a movement he started, too. Why don't you tell him the name of the movement? Um, Young Black Teenagers. There it is. <clears throat> remember that? Public Heaven Enemy Hope. Camp. Of course Hope's I remember. Club. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. So what have you been doing, man? I remember when you did, when you guys did Young Black Teenagers, it, it, it riled up a lot of people because mm. not everybody was black, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I did a lot of press. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was the whack part about it. But it was cool. I mean, you know, it was tough at first. You know what I'm saying? But we had, you know, Public Enemy was with us. Mm -hmm. I toured with Public Enemy for like four years straight. Yeah. We did a lot of the alternative runs, the Bring the Noise tour, mm -hmm. you know, Sisters of Mercy, Primus, stuff like that. Plus, you know, then when the Tap the Bottle joint dropped from the second album, it was on. Then after that, it was popping. And then uh, <clears throat> we worked on the third album. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, we had some label issues. And then, uh, you know, then a bunch of other stuff happened. Hey, okay, can you jump on this right here? <laughs> Come on, Cam, hey, do it for your buddy, man. Yeah. Well, you hold on. on the wake up show. Come on, man. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. What are you doing, man? Yeah, this is my man Born right here. I'm going to kick four balls. That's it. Right here. Okay, okay. okay, here I go, shorty. Pop the 40 old smash to a pass. If you crash, make a dash to the trash. Dap the cap. Hack a lot or not a lot. Not a little. Don't cradle upon the label. Take your gloves or don't dribble. That kid still got it. He got it. That kid still has it. Wow, you put me on the spot, dude. Come on, man. That's just beautiful, man. Come on, man. We all go so far back. And we still, you know, see us all still active and hungry. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yo, listen. I had uh, put up a, a picture on my uh, Facebook last week from 1991. We was doing a show in Brooklyn, and I had an organized confusion shirt on. Wow. Yo, Fudge Pudge inspired the Tap the yeah. Bottle, real talk. Fudge Pudge. And is... I've been a fan of uh, Mars for a long time. We, he's from Queens. I'm from Freeport, Long Island. So uh -huh. we used to bump heads in the street. I used to see Prince Paul all the time. So you know what I'm saying? Now I'm on, on board with him, man. I want to see him win this year. Absolutely, man. Oh. We all <laughs> want to see you win, Pharaoh. So oh. uh, you're winning already. You already won, as thank far you, as you, I'm concerned, you. man. Um, <laughs> Fudge Pudge, man, one of the illest collabo tracks that live yeah. from, in the, from the barbecue, songs like that just really 
kind of, if you, if you do the history, man, it'll be fun to learn when you hear songs nowadays, when you hear a lot of collabs, like um, uh, uh, Khaled does a lot of collabs yeah, that do, yeah. real, do real well for him. But if you see the history of the collab collaboration and, and where it comes from, man, it's, it's, it's so much fun. Yeah. You know, to, to connect the dots, right? Ooh. Uh, Farrell Munch, man, thank you, brother. Yes, sir, man. Thank you for having me once again. Absolutely. We'll see some organized confusion shows this year, huh? Yes, sir, man. Wow. 20th anniversary. We already did one in Brooklyn. It was bananas. Mad people came out. Mad industry people came out. Yeah. It was bleeding cold at night, and it was just dope to see the place packed out. Mm-hmm. And we rocked. OC got on. Large Professor rocked. It wow. was crazy. I heard OC sounds exactly the same, if not yeah. better. Really, really tight. Really, wow. really dope. All right, cool, man. Uh, Cameron, I'm done. Thank you for coming through, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for putting me on blast. Yeah, Young Black <laughs> Teenagers is back. The reunion album coming soon. All right. And then um, uh, up next, we got, you, you want to say something? Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, April 15th. Bad motherfucker. Bad out motherfucker. Now. Say shout out to you. Shout out to Heather B. Thank, Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. Thank hey, Farrell, man. You're a citizen of Sway in the Morning, man. Yes, sir. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shea 45.